Hello, everyone. This is my message. As many of us gather for the holiday season with family and friends, and as we think about what's happened during the past year, and some of us anyway will be thinking about plans for 2024. And first of all, I want to thank everyone in the JGI Roots and Shoots family, staff, volunteers, and donors for all that you've done to make the Jane Goodall Institute one of the top conservation environmental groups uh, in the world today. Couldn't have done it without all of you. But as many of us gather for this holiday season, I can't help thinking about those who will be suffering, those who will be uh, grieving, those who are victims of the terrible wars between Russia and Ukraine, between Israel and Hamas, thinking about all those Palestinians trapped in Gaza, and thinking too about uh, the other conflicts that are raging across about 15 African countries, thinking about the suffering of many people in Syria, Afghanistan, and other um, re restrictive regimes, thinking about the street violence and the rape that's going on even in the most um, advanced countries today. <clears throat> I can't help thinking about the refugees who have fled violence and persecution and war and those who have fled from the climate change that is making the lives their lives unin uninhabitable in so many parts of so many countries. Many of these refugees are in camps around the world, many of them unwanted, unloved and frightened, many of them separated from their loved ones. Even in the most wealthy countries, there are people on the streets, cold, miserable, and so often um, people just walk by them. They don't even seem to notice them. They don't wonder why they're there. And then there are thousands of people who are living on the line. They have just enough money to survive, but not enough money to thrive. And this includes many women and children. And then I have to think of the billions of animals exploited, suffering in factory farms, uh, those sent around the world in the animal trafficking and those confined in small cages in research laboratories, also frightened, miserable, without hope. And we can do what we can. We can donate money. We can, some of us, volunteer in soup kitchens. But I'm just saying, don't take your happiness for granted without thinking about those who are suffering and sad and miserable during this holiday season. The world is pretty grim, isn't it? Politically, socially, environmentally. And it's not surprising that so many people are losing hope. Many have lost hope. Suicide rates have gone up. And that's why what I see as my mission, traveling around the world, giving people hope is so important. So let me turn to all the good news, because there is a lot of good news to share at this point in time. And during the year, I've traveled to many countries where we have JGI or Roots and Shoots officers, and <clears throat> that's... Um, several times to the USA and Canada, and a recent trip to Brazil, where I was with indigenous people in the very heart of the Brazilian Amazon. Then eight countries in Europe, the UK, where of course my home is in the south, and also Germany and Austria, France, Hungary, the Netherlands, Spain, and Dora for the first time. Then I've been to South Korea and Japan and to Abu Dhabi and Dubai. I was twice in Tanzania where it all began when I arrived in 1960. <clears throat> I was able to visit Gombe 
twice and hear all the news about our chimpanzee families, almost all of it good news. And I saw the progress of our Takari program working with the local communities, helping them understand that saving the environment isn't just for wildlife, it's also for their own future. I went to Arusha in Tanzania and saw the progress of the amazing exhibition. It's a kind of museum, um, will be called Dr. Jane's Dream. And it's a story of how everything has developed from that time when I first arrived to start the chimp study in 1960, which, by the way, is one of the two longest unbroken studies of wild animals in the world. We're in our 63rd year. I visited Uganda, and uh, this was a very exciting time because after 10 years, during which it sort of lay mouldering, we were able to sign the Chimpanzee Action Plan. And four months later, the president and the first lady hosted a fundraising dinner, which my grandson Merlin attended, by the way, uh, to, to help conserve Uganda's amazing chimpanzees and forests. Of course, my constant travel is creating a lot of um, global greenhouse gas emissions. So I'm really grateful to the many chapters and roots and shoots groups who've been planting over the years millions of trees because I hope they've absorbed most, if not all, of these emissions that I create because there's no other way for me to get to visit the chapters except to take aeroplanes. So now let me express my real thanks to everyone who's made donations. Many, many, many small and medium-sized donations, and then some major grants, and all of this, all of these donations and grants um, made by donors to all chapters have made a huge difference in Africa for our Africa programs in Tanzania, Uganda, Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, the Republic of Congo, Rundi, Senegal, Mali, and South Africa. These donations and grants have helped us to grow roots and shoots around the globe, to look after the almost 200 chimpanzee orphans in our sanctuaries in the Republic of Congo and South Africa, Chimpunga and Chimp Eden. They've enabled us to develop and maintain our Takari work with local communities in a total of seven African countries and helped us to develop JGI's cutting-edge conservation science and to support staff working in the field. It's thanks to the generosity of our donors that we've been able to maintain our JGI and Roots and Shoots offices around the world. And I'm very inspired by this growth of Roots and Shoots. We're now in almost 70 countries, and I was able to visit many of these groups during my travels, and I met so many young people of all ages choosing projects, rolling up their sleeves, and taking action. Even as I send you this message, I can guarantee you there will be young people somewhere taking action to make this world a better place for people, animals, the environment. Almost all the groups are planting trees and they're clearing trash, they're raising money to become chimp guardians and for many other projects of their choice, such as volunteering in animal shelters, visiting the elderly and many more. In South Korea, I was with eight groups and we gathered within quarter of a mile of the border of the demilitarized zone or DMZ or DMZ, which separates the two Koreas, South from North Korea. And there we flew giant peace doves and hoped for reunion between the two Koreas. A major event during the year was a virtual meeting of all key players who were helping to formalize uh, JGI Global 
so that it becomes an organization to coordinate the act of the JGI chapters around the world and record Roots and Shoots activities from around the world. During the year, I've met so many amazing people and learned about so many inspiring projects. And not just JGI, everywhere people are waking up, everywhere people are beginning to understand that the effects of climate change are reaching everywhere, not just the poor countries. Nobody paid much attention as Bangladesh is sinking below the sea, but hitting New York and other capitals and uh, imposing a big um, economic cost to those countries. And so everywhere people are waking up and there are more and more groups fighting climate change, more and more groups working together to make a difference before it's too late, you know. Uh, everywhere I found courageous people fighting against projects that would be damaging to the environment, like oil drilling or a new development or something like that, even risking imprisonment as they demonstrate and demonstrate peacefully, dragged away by the police. There are rangers risking and often losing their lives as they fight poaching and other illegal activities. Let me assure you that thanks to our staff and supporters, JGI can now proudly assert that we're one of the most important conservation groups around the world. And that's thanks to all of you. That's thanks to all your donation, your volunteering, your care, your actions. What a difference you are all making. That's the hope for the future, spreading the word spreading the word about all that's going on that is good, and there's so much of it. So all of you are so inspiring. I only wish I could send a message like this to every JGI chapter, to every Roots and Shoots group, but unfortunately, I can't. So this one message is for all of you. My thanks, my thanks, my thanks. And have, those of you who can, a wonderful time with family and friends. Bye. Oh, and Mr. H would like to say goodbye too. Mr. H has traveled with me to all the countries. He's met so many of these amazing people, so many of you. And the message wouldn't be, wouldn't be, wouldn't be proper without Mr. H saying, Goodbye. So from both of us, thank you.